The moment a dangerous volcano in Mexico erupted violently sending ash 1,000 meters into the sky. El Popocatépetl is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. A volcano in central Mexico erupted, throwing debris thousands of feet into the water. El Popocatépetl is one of the most active volcanoes in Mexico, and will erupt with relative frequency. Recent eruption images show an enormous ash cloud towering at 17,802 feet. The eruption footage shows several explosions during last night, when El Popocatépetl started erupting. Ash clouds were billowing about 3,200 feet 1, meters, above the volcano, which started erupting yesterday evening. Only 43 miles from Mexico City, home to more than 21 million people. Overall, more than 30 million people live within 50 kilometers of the volcano. El Popocatépetl erupts regularly with several major eruptions recorded since the 1500s. Plinian eruptions, which are characterized by violent explosions that blast ash into the stratosphere, were much less frequent with the last eruption at El Popocatépetl which occurred around 800 AD. If such an eruption occurred today, it could cause widespread devastation, according to the U.S. Geological Society USGS. The last eruption at Popocatapetl occurred around AD 800. The eruption destroyed nearby settlements and culminated in a mudflow that blanketed the Puebla Valley. An eruption of this size today would endanger hundreds of thousands of lives, the USGS states on its website. In 2000, the volcano experienced its strongest eruption in at least 400 years. It exploded sending glowing red rocks raining six miles. Although no one was injured in the eruption, authorities urged villagers living near the mountain to evacuate for fear of a more powerful explosion. Over the past 30 years, the volcano has continuously spewed toxic ash and fumes, leading authorities to bar climbers from reaching the summit within 7.5 miles. Last year in June, a woman died while hiking in the restricted area of El Popocatépetl when she fell into a ditch about 1,000 feet from the crater. His climbing partner was injured in the fall, but was eventually rescued. Authorities identified the woman as 22 years old from a nearby town.